Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Holy Innocents, the martyrs who offered their own lives for Jesus. In the midst of our joyful Christmas celebrations, we are reminded in this feast to remember our brothers and sisters who are suffering, to alleviate their suffering, and not to become the cause of their suffering. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say, we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us? Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please stand. <laughs>
you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, Flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt... I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet, a voice was heard in Rama, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the holy innocents, the children who were killed, murdered by King Herod when he was looking for the child Jesus. We are reminded here, my dear brothers and sisters, of these innocent children's suffering caused by the evil deed of Herod. Nagdusa sila dahil sa masamang gawa ni Herodes. We are reminded today, my dear brothers and sisters, of our own sufferings also that are caused by other people. And this teaches us today, my dear brothers and sisters, that we must not blame God nor blame ourselves for our sufferings that are caused by other people. Madalas po kasi mga kapatid, kapag meron tayong pinagdurusahan, ang una agad nating sinisisi madalas ay ang Diyos. Panginoon, bakit naman pinagdusa mo ako ng ganito? O kaya, sinisisi din natin ang sarili natin. Ano naman kaya ang nagawa kong kasalanan? Why did I deserve such suffering and punishment? My dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded today that many sufferings in our lives are caused not by God nor by ourselves. 
they are caused by the evil deeds of other people, like the suffering of these innocent children. They suffered not because of God, not even because of themselves, but because of Herod. My dear brothers and sisters, if we are suffering, let us not immediately blame God or ourselves. Let us look. These may be caused by the evil of other people. And so, the reminder of our first reading today from the first letter of St. John is a beautiful reminder that in the midst of the suffering because of sin, God is our defender and our advocate. He is not the cause of suffering. In fact, He defends us and He becomes our advocate. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, in the midst of the joy of Christmas, we are reminded of the reality of suffering, even amidst of joy. But let us not blame God. Let us not always even blame ourselves. Let us look. This may be caused by the sin of other people against us. And let us be strengthened because we know that even in the midst of suffering caused by others, we have an advocate and defender in God. And let this celebration also be a reminder for us. Let us not also be the cause of other people's suffering because it is possible that other people may suffer because also of our wrongdoing. Let the joy of Christmas also be a reminder to us to be the cause of joy and not the suffering of other people. Amen. Please stand. Christ, our Lord, was born into a fallen world. The cruelty which claimed the lives of the holy innocents eventually brought him to the cross. Let us pray for this world, fallen yet redeemed by the sacrifice of innocent love. For every petition, let us say, through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That Christ, born as our Savior, may save those yet unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the martyrs, martyrs hear, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That God, who is the source of all life, may bring an end to abortion, and to all other forms of violence in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That we may build a society of love and justice based on respect for each and every human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That God, who sent His Son to save and not to condemn, may touch the hearts of all who have had abortions and bring them the gift of repentance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That all children who have been lost by abortion may be received into the eternal dwelling prepared for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Merciful and gentle Father, accept our prayers as we seek to understand the mystery of innocent blood. Help us to look always to your crucified and risen Son, who lives and reigns 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him, God made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these, your saints, 
who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of His birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our healing rosary for the world this evening will be hosted by the community of Our Lady of the Pillar Parish in Morong, Bataan. And we will be praying the Holy Rosary in front of the canonically crowned image of Our Lady of the Pillar. We invite everyone to join us this evening, our last healing rosary for the world this year, so that we may be together in praying for the healing of the world, especially those who may be suffering this Christmas season. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Mother of our Savior, the Spirit dwells in you. Oh, how great is your beauty and the grace bestowed on you. Holy Mother of our Savior, blessed are you from among all women, God has chosen you.